Tonight, after a record surge of migrants crossing at the northern border, the U.S. striking a deal with Canada to turn back asylum seekers entering the countries without authorization. Announced during President Biden's first visit to Canada since taking office. The United States and Canada will work together to discourage unlawful border crossings and fully implement and the updated safe third country agreement. The new pact eliminates a loophole from an agreement that went into effect in 2004 that said asylum seekers must apply to the first country they arrive in. But that deal only applied at official border crossings, creating an opportunity for migrants to seek asylum from the U.S. into Canada at unofficial checkpoints. Turning places like Roxham Road, a 30-minute taxi ride from the bus station in Plattsburgh, New York, into a magnet for unauthorized border crossings into Canada. Canadian officials reporting irregular border crossings went from nearly 800 during the last quarter of 2021 to over 8,000 by the end of 2022. Keeping people safe also includes keeping asylum seekers safe, keeping our borders secure, and keeping our immigration system strong. Today, the Prime Minister announcing the new deal will provide migrants with a new legal pathway in, allowing an additional 15,000 migrants from the Western Hemisphere to apply to enter Canada. The new policy applies to anyone without U.S. or Canadian citizenship who are apprehended within 14 days of crossing the northern border. This area where agents say they're seeing the most activity is called the Swanton Sector, stretching across New York, Vermont and New Hampshire. Earlier this year, Top Story traveled into the hotspot as crossings were skyrocketing and temperatures plummeting. I think it's sad. I think that'd be an awful position to put your kids and your family in crossing like that, but obviously these people don't feel they have a choice. Residents nearby witnessing firsthand the families traversing through freezing forests to seek asylum. First it was slow, then it started picking up and picking up, and now it's worse than ever. There's constant people either walking or personal vehicles or all kinds of taxis from cars to vans. Calling on the Biden administration to act. And earlier this week, NBC News confirming that the U.S. has flown people seeking asylum at the northern border to Texas. Photos taken by Reuters capturing the moment families, some carrying children, walked off the plane in handcuffs. Customs and Border Protection officials say they were taken there for final processing near the southern border, where officials are still facing ongoing humanitarian rescues. Just yesterday, U.S. Border Patrol releasing this footage, showing what they say was the moment a one-year-old was abandoned by a smuggler on a riverbank. A Border Patrol agent later seen taking him in. Tonight, they say the boy is safe. And Monica Alba joins us now from Ottawa with more. Monica, do we have a sense of how long it will take for these agreements to go into effect? Almost immediately, Ellison, this will go into effect after midnight Eastern time, and this will affect crossings in both directions. All of this in an effort, the leaders said today, to encourage safer legal migration. But it's important to remember that these figures at the northern border pale in comparison to what's happening at the southern border with Mexico. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.